Do you wanna play lowlife with just 10 chaos and without buying a fucking shafts? Then the 10C lowlife challenge got you covered. Together with our Australian meme mastermind, a feared map thief, a Denmarkian Old Spice model and Sideshow Bob, I will try to see how low we can go. We get a 10 chaos budget to spend for trading. The rest is self-found. No bro deals, but ninja looting, savage memes and brutal scams. We get a blood magic gem, energy from within, a lorica and two crowns to help get us started to go low life at level 31 in hardcore. In fact, we already are low life. What is going on guys, it's Yoji. I just wanted to give you a quick update for everyone who missed it on how the low life challenge is progressing for me and my character so far. Alright, so let's jump right into it. I'm playing a shockwave totem character. Currently only having one shockwave totem, but totem, but picking up ancestral bond for dual totems pretty soon. My gear currently is mainly self found and looks like this. I got a red beak, which I bought for one fusing. So one fusing, half a chaos of my budget is already gone. And I bought this shield. This shield gives me nice spell damage and it was the highest energy shield base uh, or energy shield shield for this level on the market at the point. Got it for one fuse as well. Red Beak gives me 100% increased damage when on low life, which I will be all the time. So that's basically an end game wand, like 100% increased damage applies to spells in this case. So yeah, that's basically an end game wand right here for one, uh, one fuse. It's pretty good, I got that early to boost my damage. We got a Solaris Lorica, which helps uh, that Chaos Damage does not bypass our energy shield. That is basically a Pullman's Chavs. It only gives armor, which is kind of nice to have, but it's not as good as energy shield, of course. Using the Crown of Thorns we get from the challenge to boost our energy shield and give us a free pain at human, save us one skill point at the moment. But yeah, also pretty nice to have. Got this pretty nice offensive amulet, a talisman for some cast speed, spell damage, some mana region as well. Some ES on the ring. Pretty nice ES Tri-Res tri Life Bell that I dropped. Pretty sexy. It will definitely help us cap resistances. Give some ES. Probably gonna replace this ring pretty soon for a Loris Lantern, which gives us um, some nice benefits as, as, as well as great resistances. Random ES gloves I found. Some random movement speed ES boots. Already talked about that. Yeah, that's basically all my gear. Not, not very fancy. My links at the moment are Control Destruction, Shockwave Totem, Added Lightning Damage, which I will replace for Ink AoE as soon as we get it in Act 4, and Faster Casting. And I'm also using Hatred, which I'm running with. Okay, it's just linked to something I'm leveling. Um, Blood Magic, linked to Discipline to make us go low life, as you can see down here at my life globe. Reserves basically almost all of my life. And I'm using Whirling Blades and Faster Attacks for some moving around. Dodging attacks, which will be very important for this uh, this type of build, as it is a very risky playstyle. Right, let's have a look at um, the passive tree we're using so far. Um, I pick up this spell damage early on. I might actually respect that because we actually got way more damage than we need for a while now because of Pain Attunement, which gives 30% more spell damage, which we get at the moment get from our helmet, but we can spec it as soon as we replace the helmet. Um, I pick up as much ES as I can early on. I pick more ES here, and this jewel converts all the life of these hybrid nodes. As you can see, two energy shields, so these are pure energy shield nodes now. And we get this one for free from the challenge as well. Pick up some more ES here. And then I'm basically beelining straight for Ancestral Bond to get dual totems going. Um, on the way, picking up some AoE. I might pick up this AoE pretty soon. And as soon as I get dual totems, I'm probably going to pick up the, this damage. Or go straight up here to get more ES. Put another energy from, uh, energy from within here and make this ES as well. Um, but yeah, at the moment, the next plan, plan points, I get maybe get this for some alley resist as soon as we reach Cruel. Pick up Light for, of Divinity for some deeps. Pick up Faith and Steel for some Aures, Armor and Energy Shield. And then I'll pick up Ancestral Bond for dual totems. And that's all I've planned so far. What we'll, we'll do after that, we will see. Hopefully we don't rip. That's also one of the plans we have. Um, if you want to see us play this low life challenge, us is Ziggy Xenocide Genius. Pox and Lifting Nerd Bro, and of course myself. Uh, you can check, for example, my Twitch channel out, twitch.tv slash itsyoji. Follow me there if you don't want to miss the challenge. We will be streaming this every day of the next week at around 9pm Central European time. We will start each day. I hope to see you there. It will be great fun. Last, last day was insane fun as well. So yeah, I am Yoji, and I will see you soon.